This is Twit. Jerry Siebrechts in Belgium wonders, is SSL secure if the certificate authorities cooperate? Steve, thanks for your podcast about PRISM. Very informative. I can imagine how people outside of the U.S. must feel about this. Jeez yeah. Louise. Yeah. Um, one thing I was wondering, and maybe it's my lack of understanding of SSL speaking here, why SSL offers any protection at all? Wouldn't it be possible for the government to get the private key from the certificate authority and decrypt the traffic when they splice it? Suddenly, JavaScript-based encryption doesn't seem so crazy to me anymore. And along with that comes Jimmy Anderson from Sweden. What an international show we have here today. Wondering uh, about SSL encryption. Thanks for your great podcast. What would happen if the NSA got a copy, for example, of a, a Facebook's SSL certificate? Wouldn't they be able to decrypt all the traffic into and out of uh, Facebook? Now, these, I think, are very important questions. Um, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the protocol of SSL because it is secure against eavesdropping even if you have keys. And that's important. So the keys, the, 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 the public keys that these questions are worried about are used for authentication. And let's remember that authentication only proves that you're talking to who you, you believe you are. It is the authentication that prevents the man in the middle attack where somebody intercepts the, the traffic and then can view it and alter it and then send it on. So, Authentication is separate from privacy. We need to keep those two things separate because they're cryptographically almost unrelated to each other. You can ha easily have one without the other is my point. 